What's good YouTube, I'm back with another video in the part 2 of my channel. And today, I'm going to be talking about NBA 2K18. And a lot of people are waiting to see what's going to change, and if the My Park is going to change, and if there even is going to be a My Park in 2K18. Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. Some of you guys go to the 2K stream and try to figure out what's happening, because they do stream, but they don't really interact with the 2K community, they just talk about the game. But but they did have one stream that they actually communicated with the 2K community and they talked about how the My Park's gonna change in 2K18 and they answered some questions for 2K17 and 2K18 and they said that they are gonna have different My Parks. I'm not sure if it's affiliation, but they are gonna have different My Park visuals for 2K18. Personally, I think the park is dying because all the patches that they have in the game and it makes people not want to play the game. And since people don't want to play the game, I feel like in the future, maybe not 2K18, but probably 2K19 or 2K20, they're going to replace the My Park and put in a different game mode that will probably be similar to the park. It will be some sort of matchmaking online My Player versus My Player thing. I don't know. Or maybe they might keep the park and just continue to try and make it better. But honestly, if they continue on the road that they're going on now, NBA 2K's My Park will not survive. It just won't. But they also talked about the wreck. They said how basically in the wreck, people couldn't find games, so they can't really bring it back. I'm not sure if it's just for 2K18 that they say that they can't bring it back, or if it's for the future 2Ks, who knows. But I know in 2K18, there will not be a wreck. They will continue with the Pro-Am matchmaking because apparently, People can find games easier that way, but even though the Pro-Am itself is messed up in the matchmaking, but there are people in the 2K community that are saying that they'd rather wait the time to, lo to load into a rec game instead of doing the matchmaking because you could do 5 on 5 with your friends or like it's just basically just they like the environment, like the rec environment, like the, like playing on the Terminal 23. And for those of you who did not know what the rec is, it's basically like a My Park, but 5 on 5. And it's a whole different, basically, park that you go to. And it's in this gym. And there's four courts that have a squad spot for 5 and 2 spots for five where you can have teams and that was in 2k15 i'm not sure if they're bringing it back to the newer 2ks i doubt it because 2k is just stubborn but hopefully they bring it back i really enjoy that game mode because in my opinion they should really have both they should have a rec for the people that don't mind waiting and they should have the matchmaking for the people that are just trying to level up fast because there are people that just like to be in the environment of the t Terminal 23 and like the four courts or who want to play 5 on 5 and also who just don't want to be getting lagged out every time they're trying to join a prime game like that happens to people a lot and I feel like we should get the option to either have the rec or the pro-am or both seeing as that we are the consumers and we're the one that are buying the product I feel like we should have more of the say but Obviously, that's not how 2K works. But as far as 2K18 is concerned, there will not be a wreck, unfortunately. But there are a lot of great things coming in 2K18. Like, there is a clip that you can search up of LD2K and Ronnie2K talking, where they do state the fact that they have been looking at the 2K community and what we are saying, and they're trying to listen, and basically they're jotting down everything that we're saying to them in the community that was wrong with 2K17 and they're trying to fix those errors in 2K18 to try and make the best game that they can possible but honestly if it's anywhere as close to what 2K17 was then the game's gonna be pretty garbage because 2K17 was just terrible and like the only the only reason why people play it is because they have to because there's no other competition but NBA, NBA Live 18 is coming out, so I'm going to do a video on that. I'm going to be talking about what's going to be in that game. And I really feel like this is good for 2K because now it forces them to actually make a good game. And it forces them to basically be better than the competition. 
and implement the things that we want in the game. But that's all for now, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you guys want me to make any videos, please DM it to me or comment it down below. My Instagram will be at the end of the video. And remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. As long as you want it, you can get it. Peace.